everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate web view in react native's new architecture with bridgeless mode so first let me show you guys the output so this is the output for android as you can see uh, this is my real android device running i was able to show google now i will just change it to facebook.com and if i save it as you can see it was changed to facebook.com also if i just show you this as well here you can see bridgeless mode is unable i'm not sure in the metro bundler bridgeless mode is unable is displayed i will show it for ios as well because in that it is more proper so here i am using facebook.com facebook.com is displayed also if i go back here you can see bridgeless mode is unable inside metro bundler and if i change it to google.com if i refresh it here you can see google.com is displayed as well so yeah that's it let's get started on how to integrate this hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate web view in react native's new architecture with bridgeless mode now i won't be using any third party libraries uh, so yeah let's get started firstly i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation of fabric native components uh, so be uh, ready with this documentation also if you want to know how to enable the new architecture with bridgeless mode which i will show you in a bit but if you want to learn more you can copy from you can refer this documentation as well now also i have already made a video on how to integrate web view in react native's new architecture but there are some few changes because react native 74 came out uh, with bridgeless support and uh, that uh, changes things a little bit that's why i'm making a video again uh, on this so let's get started uh, so here i have created my react native project the first thing is we will have to enable new architecture once you enable the new architecture bridgeless mode is enabled by default so for android you will have to go to android gradle dot properties so over here and you will have to change this new arc enable from false to true that's the first thing for ios you will have to open your terminal cd to this ios directory okay so android so cd to this ios directory and then you will have to run this command so this will take a few minutes and then the new architecture will be enabled for ios as well then um, what we'll have to do is we'll have to create a fabric component so i'll be copying a lot of code from this documentation itself so it's better you keep the documentation handy so firstly create a folder called rtn my web view you can name anything but it's better you follow my naming convention because this naming is important where it would be used in lot other cases as well so first create this then we create this uh, package.json file now i have copied everything from the documentation only this name changes this changes and this changes next i have created a pod spec file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name changes next you have to create a js folder inside that you will have to name this uh, according to what folder name you have given so be careful you will have to append native component.ts now again i have copy pasted everything from docs only i have added this prop of url colon string and this name changes this next for android you will have to create an android folder you will have to create a build.gradle file ignore this dot gradle file it is automatically created again i have copy pasted everything from docs okay i have only updated this compile sdk version min sdk version target sdk version uh yeah and here in kotlin standard lib i am using 1.9.22 so and also i have apply, added this apply plugin kotlin android and for build.gradles i have updated it to 8.3.0 next go to src you will have to create all these folders main java com rt and my web view firstly create my web view dot kt and it extends from this web view uh okay so as it extends from this uh, web view uh we uh, automatically get all the benefits of our web view then um, i have created this my web view manager dot kt uh, and here again i have copy pasted everything from the 
documentation only this package name has been changed this has been changed this has been changed uh, this and this my web view names has been changed everywhere this names only has been changed and this has been changed and here we are returning our my web view dot kt which we have created and once we get the url prop we are just uh, getting the, uh, up using this load url uh, method from our web view which is by default present because we are inheriting from the android's web view and we just pass our url so this particular value we pass it and here we have created my web view package dot kt again i have copy pasted it from docs only the package name has been updated and yeah this name has been updated and this name has been updated next you will have to create an ios folder and inside that i have created this header file again i have copy pasted everything from the docs only thing is i have imported this web kit over here and uh, here again i have up updated this name then you will have to create an objective c++ file so the extension is dot mm not just dot m again copied it from the docs only this name changes this 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 and this name changes and here i have created updated this name as well and this name this name and here we have just uh, inherited the wk web view and here again i have updated the name and this has been copied from docs here we are initializing our wk web view and yeah everything else remains the same and once we get the props uh, so this url prop has been updated and once we get it we convert it to an ns string uh, then we convert it to an ns url from ns string uh, then with the help of ns url we uh, construct an ns url request and then we just pass this ns request to the load request method of our web view and again this everything else has been copied from docs as well next uh, i have copied this as well from the documentation so uh, over here as well uh, i have created this file again an objective c++ file and i have copy pasted everything from the docs only this name changes this changes this changes and here we are passing url as a prop that's why we have to add it over here uh, the next thing so once all this is done you will have to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project okay and then you will have to run this command so whatever is your folder name so mine is rt and my web view so i will just run this command once you run this command you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project and then you will have to run this command so here rn app is my project name so you will have to change it to whatever is your project name so here you will have to change it to whatever is your project name over here as well and over here as well and this is a new thing in bridgeless mode dash dash target platform all okay so it will create code generation both for android and ios then you will have to cd to the main android folder inside your terminal and then run this command so this will do code generation for android then you will have to cd to the main ios folder and then run this command so this will do code generation for ios as well and uh, one more important step for uh, ios is uh, you will have to open the ios open the xc workspace folder and here you will have to add a web kit as well so i will just show you now uh, once that is done you can just run yarn ios to run your ios app and for android you can just run yarn react native uh, yarn android will work as well but that will take time if you want to reduce time for your build times for android you can just run this command so it will detect what android architecture you are on and only run for that particular android architecture okay so the important step for ios as well is you will have to go to general inside targets and you will have to add this webkit framework to add this you can just click on this plus button search for webkit click this click add i have already added it so won't add it won't be adding again so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye